Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's been a little bit since the last time I filmed and I feel so refreshed. Oh my god, I I needed that break. <laughs> I really did. So yes, before we start, if you're brand new, hello, my name is Laura and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're brand new, make sure to subscribe and give this video a like, leave a comment down below. But today we're going to be doing a chatty get ready with me. I haven't done one of these videos in such a long time. And um, I don't know, I just felt like um, I felt like chatting with you today. <laughs> So there's been a lot that has been happening. Well, a lot and not so much. I don't know. I mean, I'm still working from home, so I'm still stuck here, um, you know, working, <laughs> seeing my family the whole entire day. Um, puppies are doing well, so that's great. Um, what else? Yeah, I mean, in that regard, nothing has changed. Um, I'm still waiting on getting my vaccine. I'm like the last one in my household to get the vaccine, but I'll get it. I just need an appointment. I can't just do the walk-in um, walk vaccinations because I don't want to waste my employer's time by waiting around, but um, I'll get it soon, <laughs> I promise. I'm very much looking forward to getting that vaccine so I can, I don't know, feel a little bit more normal. I mean, nothing's gonna change. It's not like I'm gonna go out <laughs> vacation right afterwards but you know I, I just want to feel a little bit safer so yes I'm looking forward to getting that vaccine I'm using the Glossier stretch concealer I've been using this a lot recently and um, I just forgot how nice it is so I'm just going to do what I normally do with concealer but with this formula so what has been changing a lot is due to TikTok um, I really wasn't taking it very seriously last year. It was just for fun. And even earlier this year, um, <laughs> it was just like shit posts. And um, I don't know, I guess those shit posts like really <laughs> resonated with people. And um, yeah, I, I really enjoy it. I, I am now uploading on TikTok like three times a day. Uh, it's just the most fun I've been having on social media in such a long time. It feels very much, it feels a lot like early YouTube where people would be so interactive, not only with the content creator, but other um, other people watching that content. I haven't been posting too much like beauty content there. Maybe I'll do it occasionally, but yeah, that my TikTok has basically become just manga and anime central. Uh, I love it. <laughs> I love getting the chance to be like a dork in this fangirl. I mean, I would have gotten that chance if I was still going to concerts, but you know what? Those will resume eventually. <laughs> and then you'll get that fangirl out of me once things go back to normal. But yeah, it's been a lot of, a lot of manga, a lot of anime, and um, I met so many cool people through TikTok. Like, it feels... <laughs> It feels so surreal, like, yeah, I mean, the the place that I work at is a small business. We only have like 10 people, including the owner and his son, so it's a very small group of people. And thankfully I get along with everyone, but it's not the same as, you know, as when you work at a big corporate office where you have like a ton of people, um, or if you're in school and you have, you know, all your classmates, like <laughs> the further you get into life, um, I feel like sometimes the pool of like potential friends becomes smaller and smaller unless you, you know, you can't put yourself out there in certain like different places. So on, on YouTube, I've met a handful of people. Instagram, it used to be a lot more, it used to be a lot easier back in the early days to find new accounts. Now, not so much. And uh, yeah, I mean, Instagram, I just don't like very much. It's becoming a little bit more fun because of the TikTok friends. Just, <laughs> we're all following each other on Instagram. But yeah, it's definitely not, as interactive or yeah it's it's just hard instagram makes it very hard to find new accounts just organically so yeah it's been it's been just tiktok that for you page damn that for you page is 
dangerous. <laughs> I found so many you know new creators with amazing recommendations and I'm sure I mean I get told quite a lot that I pop up on people's for you page a ton and I'm the girl who gets them to spend a lot of <laughs> a lot of manga. So yes, I apologize. I apologize. I just get so excited that I want to like share it <laughs> share it with everyone. It's like here's the manga that I've been loving. And by the way, I'm wearing little manga earrings. These are <laughs> Because I'm currently reading the manga. Um, I'm on volume three. <laughs> I'm on volume three right now. I, I love this anime, so I had to read the manga. I mean, I collected it back in February. Um, and uh, I'm missing volume eight. I'm very... Ugh, I cannot find it anywhere. Not used, not new. Like It's so hard to find volume eight. I don't know why. I had pre-ordered it, but my order got cancelled. Yeah, that volume 8. If any, <laughs> if any of you find it at your local whatever store that you have, um, buy it and I'll pay for it. <laughs> but yeah, that, I don't know, volume 8, man. Everywhere. I've checked everywhere. Alibri's, eBay, Mercari, Amazon. Um, independent like bookstores, Simon and Schuster. Like I've checked everywhere. Nobody has it. I mean, I could buy it in Japanese, but I, I wanted it in English. And for any of you who are, you know, newer to collecting manga, like I am, um, if you go on Mercari or reselling platforms, there are people taking advantage of newer uh, collectors, just price gouging and trying to resell you know here's the thing if it's out of print i can kind of justify raising the price because it's a harder to find you know volume or series it's not getting printed like there's some rarity to it which justifies a little bit of a price increase but if it's a brand new manga a popular series and something that you can literally go to Barnes and Noble and find there's no reason why you should be paying 23 25 30 plus dollars on that volume when you can check online and it's most likely in stock and I've been seeing so much of that so um, if you do find you know something on Mercari you're like oh my god I've been needing volume I don't know one of Chainsaw Man or something super popular like that um, check online first check Barnes & Noble check you know books a million check those websites out first even check Amazon if you want um, it's most likely in stock <laughs> if it's out of stock and it's a popular series it'll come back in stock like yes it's not worth it so that's my that's my word of advice from a new manga collector to another new manga collector don't give in to those prices um they're just taking advantage of of newer manga collectors and it's sad but i mean it's gonna happen it happens a ton in the vinyl in the vinyl record community it happens a ton with concert tickets so i'm very used to that i just <laughs> They can have their listing up. I'm just not going to pay for that. I'd rather wait patiently or wait impatiently <laughs> and save some coin. That's just me. All right. So what am I going to do now? Blush. I need some blush. I know I haven't been a humongous fan of Hourglass, but you know what? I have their stuff, so might as well use it. Um, this is the blush in Luminous Flush. Freaking expensive ass blushes. With one of these, I could have bought <laughs> like three or four, you know, volumes of manga. That's how I put it. That's how my brain now thinks. It used to be like, oh, one foundation equals three CDs, like back in the day. But I don't buy CDs anymore. <laughs> and I can't really apply that logic with vinyl records because then it would be almost like a one-to-one -one ratio. But with manga, I can. And it's made makeup a lot less appealing. It's like, why would I want to pay that much for something I don't need and will expire when I can just buy books? And those don't expire. 
yeah, I'm doing really great <laughs> with the beauty budget because that's certainly not an issue anymore for me. Um, yeah, I haven't purchased any makeup in a while. <laughs> I think since last month. Um, yeah, there's just nothing that I need and I still need to declutter. I'm going to apply just a wash of eyeshadow color just close to my skin tone. I've been using the Good Karma shade from the from this guy from the Stone Vibes just because it pretty much looks like my skin tone color. Maybe a little bit more pale, but it's okay because I want to use some water activated liners on my eyes today. I want to use the ones from Claro Psych. Some people wanted me to use them in a video, so I will. I've actually been using, I don't even know if they still make makeup anymore, but remember back in the day I used to be obsessed with Burberry eyeshadows? <laughs> um, I've been using this guy. Uh, this is the shade Shell. I'm pretty sure they don't even sell this anymore, but I've been using this guy to highlight. It's a really nice highlighter color. And yeah, might as well get some use out of this because it was expensive. I think I must have bought this on Poshmark or something because I don't think I would have paid full price and I never paid full price for any of these. But still, they were pricey. That was back when every YouTuber was wearing luxury makeup and you know I would just try to save up as much as I could to keep up with that. But you know, it was hard. <laughs> It wasn't even worth it. So now for the water activated liners. This is the Clairo Psych Sketch Paint. And the colors look like this. So you can use them just on its own. So yeah, pretty nice selection. You have primary, secondary, and pastels. So cool color selection. But you can also, you know, mix and create your own shade. So today, I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> but let me bring you closer. Um, there's certain ways I like to create colors. I'll just collect a little bit of water or priming water, whatever you have on hand. I'm just using the Wet n Wild Rose priming water. And I'm gonna start picking up these colors. So first I wanna grab the green. I think I have the color that I wanted out of just mixing that green with a little orange. So now I can go in and line my eyes with that. So I'm gonna just make sure that my brush isn't too wet. Perfect. And then I just, you know, just line my eyes as I normally do. If you need to build up the color, you can. But the thing with the water activated liners is that you don't want your brush to be too wet. That's going to dilute the formula too much and make it almost like transparent. It's gonna to be too watery. So you do want this to be almost like a, like a very thin paste and that's going to help you get more color payoff. Yeah, that's a good color. That's a nice pukey green, my favorite color. <laughs> If you wanted it a little bit darker, um, I could have mixed in a little bit of the brown, but I like this color. We're good on the green, but let's say I want to do something a little bit more fun. I want to add just a, I don't know, something. <laughs> so let's do, let's do a complimentary color. I'm going to do a little bit of lilac. Why? I don't know. I just feel like it. So I just sprayed some of the priming water directly into the pastel lilac shade. This guy right here. And I'm taking a thin brush, just kind of working that water in, creating the paste that I was talking about. And I want to go and create a line right above it. So I'm going to look down into a mirror and just right above it my eye is getting watery not good I like that a lot oh I like that a lot <laughs> oh my god why was that easier with my left hand I don't know <laughs> I feel like it's always easier with my left hand and that's my non-dominant hand well, I don't know 
Okay, so let's say I want to do something more. I want to add some dots. So I'm going to take my priming water. I'm going to go in with white this time around. Or I can just spray it directly. Taking a little tiny brush. Taking a little tiny brush. And I'm going to just... Just go... And create small dots. I'm going to add a few dots right here. You know another thing that I'm like getting into? Well, I'm like barely dipping my toes. But cosplaying. I've never done it in my life. But I've been seeing a lot more, you know, 30 plus cosplayers and uh, I don't know, you know what? It, life's not fun if you just are scared of everything. So um, it's something that's very intimidating to me, but I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try it out. I mean, it's not like I'm a professional cosplayer person. Um, I'm just gonna be doing it for fun. <laughs> so it might not be super accurate to the characters, but, you know, as long as I have fun, that's all I can ask for. <laughs> so I got a um, Tomoyo wig from Cardcaptor Sakura. So that's going to be my very first, baby's first cosplay. <laughs> uh, I'm looking forward to it. Very, very much looking forward to it. And I used this guy. This is the Matte Hippie mascara that got sent to me a while ago, but... I barely used it, so I'm planning on using it up as much as I can. It's nice. It's nothing revolutionary, but it's not bad. <laughs> Apart from Tomoyo from Cardcaptor Sakura, I also really want to cosplay as Narumi. <laughs> Narumi Mamose from Otakoi. Yeah, you know, maybe that will help me manifest my own Hirotaka. Maybe. I need to give that a try. And then, I also really want to cosplay. I mean, Taylor Mercury is like, you guys know, it's gonna get done. Um, but apart from Mercury and Tomoyo and now Narumi, um, I also really, really want to cosplay as um, Misato Katsuragi from Evangelion. She is the most badass female character, and I love that she's older too. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I went cosplay as her so bad. I just ordered a wig that reminded me of her hair. So, because I thought I was gonna get away with the Tomoyo wig and just you know style the bangs differently, but no, that Tomoyo wig is so freaking long. It almost hits like my hips. It is long, and it just like I don't know how people can have their hair that long. I know they can, but it's just so much weight. You guys know that I love short hair. When my hair reaches my shoulders, I'm just like freaking out. I'm like, what do I do with the rest? Too much hair and then it goes up in like ponytails. So yeah, I can, I mean, if I want to wear my hair long, I can just experiment with that with wigs. It's easier. <laughs> it's easier than growing out your hair and having to deal with that every day. So yeah, I might go down a slippery slope of collecting wigs, but it beats um, frying your hair, trying out different hair colors. So, you know, I'm trying to be safe. I'm trying to be safe. I, uh, this hair color, this is the Revolution Hair Drops. It won't fade at all. This is like the lightest it's gotten. Um, I did apply another color over it a few weeks ago, almost right after the video that went up. Um, that color faded. <laughs> now I'm left with this one so I have no idea what's in that dye but it just wouldn't will not come out of my hair so yeah it's still like this cyan blue yeah <laughs> it won't come off it's so crazy and I'm, I'm borderline sick of this shade of blue but I was waiting for it to like get a little bit more faded but no you know what? I might have to do a beat a a bleach bath. I didn't want to do that, but I might have to. Oh, has anyone <laughs> has anyone been watching Fruits Basket season three? Holy crap! We're only like two episodes in, and I'm just like, no, I have not read the manga yet. I have volumes one 
and yesterday got volumes two and three. So I need to I need to play catch up with the manga, okay? Like yes, I went with the anime first, but let me get this out of the way. Hattori Soma, why do they have to draw him that attractive? I don't know, but homeboy is. And if he was a real man, I would be like, but he's not. But yeah, apart from him, the story is just so sad. Everyone's backstory, god damn it, I always cry. I feel like a lot of people love to hate on my boy Yuki. Why? Because he's straight laced and shy. I love him, he's my favorite. Apart from, you know, um, Hattori Soma. Yeah, I love Yuki. Kyo, <laughs> you know what? I, I just, I don't dislike him, but I understand why Yuki gets so frustrated with him because I'm definitely, personality-wise, a lot more similar to Yuki. So yeah, I understand them. But I do love Toru and Kyo. I, they're so adorable. If I were to rank my favorite characters, let's go. Um, and I'll just do Toru being the only one that's not a Soma, but it would be <laughs> it would be Hattori, <laughs> then Yuki, then Momiji. Oh, Momiji is so adorable. He's so adorable. And then, um, then Rin, then Hatsuharu, and then um, Ayame would be in there. Oh, maybe Ayame a little bit up. Uh, yeah, those would be like my top favorite so yeah everybody else is like down um akito being like she's not even on the list no yeah if you don't watch fruits basket um i recommended it. it's like a romance but yeah it is sad a little fucked up too but you know what fruits basket would be boring if shigure wasn't in there okay i know a lot of people hate them and I should hate him too, but I can't. I can't hate him completely. But yeah, homeboy's <laughs> homeboy's really screwed up. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna stop talking fruits basket. If you want more fruits basket, definitely follow me on TikTok. And uh, yeah, this is today's <laughs> makeup look. Quite simple. I just really wanted to show you um, these sketch paints. So I got my little liner, my dots. Um, they hold on really well. I mean, if I go in super hard with a lot of pressure, yes, they will smudge, but if I just touch them like this, they're fine. Even on my oily eyelids. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you did in the comments below. If you're brand new, once again, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for checking out my TikTok, and I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye!